Alright, so I don't want to beat a dead horse here or anything, but I certainly don't feel alone in the slightest in saying this, but short track racing in NASCAR is just not what it used to be anymore. And at this point, I really don't know what we can say or do anymore to change anything. And it doesn't help anything that on top of just a bad racing product at short tracks, which were honestly some of the greatest races ever going back to the Gen 4 car, carried over by the car of tomorrow, and even with the Gen 6 car, that the broadcasting we are seeing, mainly from Fox, is severely lackluster and focused on the wrong aspects of the sport week in and week out. But it's one thing to moan and complain that the short track racing is bad, and another thing to actually do something about it. This is a sad reality of the state of short track racing in NASCAR in 2024, with the fact that sadly, a lot of fans, including myself, were much more connected to the women's NCAA basketball championship game last Sunday during the most recent race at Martinsville Speedway. And throughout the entire weekend, I was focused on more coverage of WWE and WrestleMania than anything happening in Martinsville. It is safe to say that Denny Hamlin fighting with the president of Speedway Motorsports Incorporated during the week got way more attention last week than anything that happened at Martinsville Speedway. And that's not me just blowing smoke up your tail either. This video is mainly just my opinion, but that one could be argued more as fact. But it's not all doom and gloom for NASCAR. To my surprise, ratings weren't as bad as I feared they would be. According to Adam Stern of Sports Business Journal, ratings for the Sunday race at Martinsville Speedway on Sunday were a very surprisingly high 2.191 million viewers, only slightly down from 2023's 2.218 million viewers. And that's honestly not that bad when you consider its big competition, the Iowa Hawkeyes versus the South Carolina Gamecocks in a national championship game, got, I believe, 18 plus million views with peak viewership well into the high 20 million range. Yes, things could certainly be better, but they certainly could also be worse. I feared, personally, they'd only be somewhere in the 1 million range. But when a lot of races this season have seen viewership in the 3 to 4 million range, this is a problem. So here's where we're at currently. We have this new car that, in terms of short track racing, has really only seen one exciting short track race, to my opinion, and that was the most recent spring race at Bristol Motor Speedway, which was highly contributed to the tire package that teams dealt with from Goodyear. That is an entire outlier event, and don't get me wrong, I am so glad that I was there for that one. I love going to Bristol, I have so many great memories there, but we can't let a tire determine if it's going to be a great short track race or not. Teams and drivers have been very vocal, fans have been very vocal, yet there just seems to be no real change coming from NASCAR's end to find a feasible solution to make short track races as cool as they once were. This car, originally from how it was built, seemed on paper that the most exciting races could be road courses and short tracks, yet in execution, it's been the exact opposite effect. NASCAR unknowingly made a car that is perfect for super speedway races and intermediate tracks, which is why, while it has had a bad reputation, I am so looking forward to going to Texas Motor Speedway for the first time this weekend to see what the track is like and hopefully this car puts on another good race for the track standards. But as for the short tracks, there's still so much more ground for NASCAR to cover here. And it's sad because we already know that Iowa Speedway has been added to the schedule and it's sold out for the summer. There's a clear market who wants short track racing to be good. North Wilkesboro Speedway seems to be headed in a direction to where it could possibly go from just being the all-star race to being a future points race event again. The future remains unknown for Auto Club Speedway possibly becoming a short track, and there's so much effort being put into bringing back the Nashville Fairground Speedway. So my question now to NASCAR is, what's the flipping point if there isn't real effort being done to making this car better on short tracks? That's all I've got in this one. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Is it beyond time to panic, or is there any way to save NASCAR short track races? Because right now, I am ye of little faith here, sadly. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and leave it a like. And if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to Danny B Talks to never miss another new video here on my channel. And until next time, this is Danny B, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.